Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. It's Jenna. So in this video, I want to go over the problem that I think the majority of us have experienced at one time or another. That's right. Good notes crashing. Now, admittedly in 2020 for me, the crashes have become a lot less frequent, like maybe once every two weeks, maybe. Um, but I know that this has been an ongoing problem for a lot of people. And I mean, let's be real. Yeah, there are other apps out there and there are other apps out there that do do good stuff. You know, you can plan on them well, but for my style of planning and my style of file organization, GoodNotes is just, it's my jam. It's where it's at. So I have compiled a little bit of a lengthy list of things that you can do to try to alleviate the crashes or prevent them altogether. Now, some of these things I have picked up on my own and some of these things I have learned corresponding with the GoodNotes support team. So let's jump into it. Okay, so the first thing I wanna to touch on is why does GoodNotes crash? Because if you can kind of alleviate the why, then you can, you know, cut the problem out before it even happens. So the two main culprits that I have found are storage space and memory. So if you're trying to run any app, but GoodNotes in particular, on a device that has only, you know, five gig of storage space available, you are going to run into problems, period. And not just with GoodNotes, but with GoodNotes. Um, and then the other thing is most iPads, with the exception as of the filming of this video, with the exception of the terabyte version, come with gigs of RAM. I'm gonna double check that and see if that's right. I think it's right. So the way that this plays out in really basic terms is the more memory you have, the more processes your device is going to be able to run smoothly. So most people out there have eight gig and that is fine. You can run on that. However, you need to be mindful of how much memory your device is using. So let's jump into some tips that you can try to stop or slow the amount of crashes that GoodNotes is giving you. Okay, number one, make sure that you are on the latest version of the OS for the device you are using and that you're using the latest GoodNotes app. Now, one thing that I and others in the community have noticed, the closer we get to a new app release, <laughs> the more buggy the program seems to be. So that sort of makes sense, you know, as bugs develop, they get reported, so forth and so on, and the, wow. And the developers step in and say, okay, we're gonna release and fix these. A hidden culprit that not everybody knows about, I certainly didn't, is that GoodNotes has its own trash bin that is separate from the trash on your device. So if you go into your settings, you'll see trash bin. And if you tap on trash bin, you just might be surprised at how much crap you have in there. Now, I want to say it was the first year that I was digital planning with GoodNotes. I had no idea that existed. And in your first year, in my first year of digital planning, I went through so many sticker packs. I went through so many different planners. I, you know, did something, didn't like it, deleted it, re-imported it, didn't like it, deleted it. That trash bin, oh dear God, <laughs> it was huge. So GoodNotes maintains all of these things, which is a good thing because if you accidentally delete a file, you can recover it, but you have to manually go in and empty that trash bin. So make sure that your trash bin is empty and then restart the app, like double tap, swipe up, close it entirely and go back in. See if that helps because that's going to free up a lot of app memory. So you've emptied your trash, you are updated and you're still having problems. Another culprit that I have noticed can be processes running in the background. Now, if you, you know, say you check your email and then you watch a video on YouTube and then you play a little Stardew Valley and then, you know, you check your photo camera roll for something, you take a picture or whatever, all of those things are still running in the background. So when you open up GoodNotes, your device is still using and utilizing memory for all these apps that are not currently on your screen. So if you swipe up, from the bottom, you'll see all of these different apps that are open at the time. If you flick them upward, then they will all close and you'll be able to just use GoodNotes as the only open app. 
The exception to this, obviously, if you, is if you're using your Files app to pull in images, um, then you would have GoodNotes and Files open at the same time. But if you have a whole bunch of apps open, that can use up your memory and your system resources and cause GoodNotes to crash because it's not getting the resources that it needs to run. So going in the storage route, um, two things to consider. Number one is if, say, you use a... Christmas kit. It's January now. We've all gone nuts with the holiday kits. If you've used it and you're not planning to use it again right away, take it off your device. You know, you can, you guys, you can create your own GoodNotes files. I showed you how to do this in a previous video, um, but you can export your own GoodNotes files so that if you did pull in a bunch of PNGs, you don't have to do that again. You can export it as a GoodNotes file, save it to your cloud, and delete it off of your device. That way you still have your stickers. They are not gone, but they're not taking up resources on your tablet. And in this same realm, be mindful of what you are downloading. There are some shops out there who have beautiful artwork, beautiful clip art, beautiful kits, but these files are 60 plus meg. Now, when you figure that the, I'll say, okay, let's put it this way, Etsy, if you're buying from Etsy and you have to um, go to another website like Google Drive or Dropbox to download a kit that you purchased, that means that the file, more than likely, that means that the file is too big, Etsy won't let them host it there. The Etsy file limit is 20 meg. So, you got to figure, say you fall in love with one particular shop and their kits all run between 40 and 60 meg. You buy five kits, you guys, that is a whole lot of space. So I'm not saying don't purchase from them because I do it all the time, but I keep them on my cloud drive so that I can pull in the elements that I want to use. And then I don't have to have this huge bulk piece sitting on my device. Another thing that I employ, especially since I started daily journaling and doing the extreme planning is once a month, I will export my planners as P uh, PDFs. So basically it's flattening all the images and taking them off my device. Now, what I do after that is I check the exported PDF, make sure that there's nothing corrupted or weird or wonky about it. Then I will delete the GoodNotes file off of my tablet. So I have like, there's no more layers, there's no more stickers, what is done is done, and then you delete that off of there. Then I re-import the PDF, which is oftentimes so much smaller. And then I can flip through a book, a journal, a an extreme planner, you know, I can flip through all of these so quickly because GoodNotes doesn't have to load each and every image or each and every font or each and every handwriting stroke. It's all flat on one page, so it behaves just like a fresh brand new planner import. So once a month, I offload my daily journal and I offload my extreme planning. Plus, I offload my month from my actual 2020 planner and then flatten those out so that I have the backups for one, and then two, it's taking up so much less resources and less space on my tablet. And let's say you've gone through all of these things and it's still, you know, still crashing and you're like, it, okay. So, and then finally, one suggestion too that I would give is if your main planner, one last suggestion that I would give is if your main planner is the one that keeps giving you problems, Again, it's the beginning of 2020 as of the filming of this video, so it's not as big of a deal right now, but last December, oh man, the crash reports were everywhere because you figure you're using this planner for 12 months, that's 52 weeks. God forbid you're a daily planner on top of that. Those files are huge and GoodNotes just can't hang. So um, another option is to do quarterly planning. So say you get a planner, that especially if it's undated, you guys, get an undated three month planner and then you can use it for three months, export it, pull it back in, use it for three months, export it, combine those two into a six month completed, bring in your six to nine month. That way you're working in three month chunks. GoodNotes is a lot more forgiving if you're doing it this way. And then at the end of the year, you can still combine those four planners into one full year and have your 2020 planner, 
2021 planner, you know, you'll have all of these together in one by, you know, one file. So you would still have 2019, 2020, 2021 as one planner, even though you worked in three month chunks throughout the year. And if absolutely none of this works, I cannot speak more highly of the GoodNotes support staff. I would absolutely reach out to them and say, here's what's going on. GoodNotes has the option, if you go into your settings, to um, generate a crash report. You want to do that and you want to email it to the support staff. So don't think that you're going to send them an email and that's going to be it. They're never going to see it or read it or whatever. They always, always get back to me, even if it's just we got your email, we're looking into it. And about a week or so later after the problem has been discussed or resolved or whatever, I will get another email from GoodNotes saying, hey, we just wanted to touch base and make sure that everything is still working as it should. So they do care about their customers. They do care you know, about their app. So if all else fails, don't hesitate to reach out, but definitely try some of these things because these have been very helpful for me and very helpful for a lot of other people that I have talked to. So that's going to be it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And yeah, <laughs> I will see you in the next one. Bye.